Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Blaster Master Zero Two. I got all the coins, and trust me, you didn't miss a damn thing. It's really tedious. It's actually kind of boring, actually. You just have to go all around the planet to collect those little coins. So what's our reward for doing so? Let's go find out. Thankfully though, we do have a shortcut back to him. Doesn't make the trip to all the coins any easier. So let's go get our prize. Alright buddy, we got your coins. Hey Gunbei, we got the coins. Great, thank you. Now we can finish Cubica's, Cub Cubico's, Cubico's, Bico's upgrade. You went to a lot of trouble for us. Here, I want you to have this. It's my way of saying thanks. Emblem, Cubico. An emblem resembling Cubico received from Gunbai. Gotta be honest, though. I've got no clue what it does. And I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this thing. Hmm. I'll run some analysis. Mind if I hold on to it? Anyways, that's it. Also, I got my gun power back to full. Since I lost all of it during the Mountain of Chaos fight. So... We Boom! As you can see, that instantly filled us. So, yay! That's how good the really high drops are. Alright, let's get the hell out of this place. We are done here forever. Just to prove it... Yeah, nothing left. Also, those coins will appear on your map as little green treasure chests. Ah, oh, sorry if you heard that I'm thirsty. Anyways, we got new planetoids. And uh, there's a one, and there's a two. You. I want you. Come here, baby. You have something I want. Alright, let's go on up. Oh, shoot. Boom. Right, nothing, too, nothing too worrisome, honestly. Oh, we need small keys, don't we? And you gotta have one, don't ya? Where are you? Ah! Bastard. Ah! He moves so quickly. If only I'd hit him with my fully powered gun first. There we go. Nope, he doesn't. Wasted my time. Yeah, it's just a big expanse of nothing. Yeah, they try to mix things up a little bit, but whatever. You definitely have a key. Mine. No keys there. Ooh. Nice try, buddy. I'll remember that. Guess I need a quick fill up. And watch out! Yeah, nice try, bub. Alrighty, let us get energy guard. Prevent your gun level from dropping when taking damage. Guard disappears after one hit. But, it will regenerate again over time. Yes! Now we won't lose our gun instantly. Also, if you hit X, uh, that should be this. You can see what is possibly there. So if we go to this planetoid, B1, you can see there's an item there, but we don't know what it is. So what do we got here? Anything good? Ooh, wall jumping tutorial. Yeah, we have to go up this shaft. And trust me, this is harder than it looks. Alright, take two. Take three. Doing good so far, and yes! We get Flash Sphere. Landmine that explodes to deploy an energy sphere. Yay. 
And that's all that's there. These planetoids are pretty much a test of your abilities. And that's it. If there were any in any sectors we have unlocked, you would have seen it appear. It would have cut scened over. Anyways, let us head to Area C. Ever since we left Montoge, Eve has been spending more and more time in sleep mode. Why does Eve have big breasts in this? Was that necessary? Sunsoft? Eve's body is using Sophia's energy to keep the mutant corruption at bay. But because of that, she stays in Sophia and operates in energy saving mode. Every new sub weapon and maneuver we equip puts more pressure on Sophia's. Sophia's energy systems. We must be using her sleep mode to reduce the strain. But in exchange, it's likely taking a toll on her body. What's more, the further we travel, the stronger the mutants get. I need to find a way to increase Sophia's energy output. Translation, that's exactly what we're about to do. Ah, look at that, a planetoid. We have to see what's here. Yeah, wasting your time. With Garbo. And enemies we'll see in the next place. Bastards. Alright, make our way up. Yeah, nice try, buddy. Boom. Alright, let's get auto cluster. Consume SP to fire a terrain piercing laser and cluster bomb simultaneously. I never found it useful. Yeah, sometimes I'll hit the hover instead of the wall jump sometimes. Oh well. Yeah, if you didn't see that coming, they want to make make you test it here. Or you can just do this. Save a lot more SP that way. And boom. No. And that's it. Yeah, they want you to use your new toy, but it's garbage. But we do get C3. Yay. Alright, I'll meet you outside the planetoid. Alrighty. Yay, new discovery. Something good there? Just an item, but could it be something good? Ooh, little dude dungeon. That scares me. Oh, this. Fuck these enemies. The little worms are kind of frantic, I guess. A bunch of those small ones. Now you can't counter them, but it doesn't seem very easy to do. Even though it looks like it should be. Whatever, we survived. Now I'm pretty sure if those are generate on you, they hurt, but I've never found out. Nor will I. Uh-oh. Save point. Do we have a boss? Yes, we do. It's the mighty Mind Might. Yay. No, this one's gonna torch us. Uh-uh. Yeah, if you manage to hit them, they go to the center. Oh, we almost didn't get hit, but whatever. We don't lose our gun. Boom. Yeah, as you can see, our gun got weaker because we spammed it too much. Come on, yes! Hi, buddy, you're dead. You go boom now. And that we get Torch Bomb. Landmine that explodes in a burst of flame. Works as a decoy. Never used it. It might be useful, who knows. I just never bothered using it. Alright, let's go to our destination. So what is it? Now arriving on Immigration Ship. L229. Was this the spaceship that was popping up on the radar? 
I believe so. This signal, somewhere on board, is a module that can increase Sophia's energy output. Eve, don't push yourself too hard. Please, get some rest. Sorry, Jason. I just need a bit. Sleep tight, Eve. Hang in there till I find that module. I'm picking up multiple mutant signals aboard the ship. Not a single sign of life on board other than those. The mutant attack must have wiped out everyone and everything else. It'll be tough going on without Eve's assistance, but this is no time to falter. I'll take care of this on my own, for Eve's sake. Oh, I'm sorry, Fred. It'll be the two of us, right, buddy? It's like, damn straight, boy. I'm helping. Also, gimmick time! A security barrier. The mutants managed to take over the ship's defense systems. Sophia isn't equipped to take on a huge mutant like that, bullshit. Might be better to keep my distance for now. I say bullshit because he just took on a mountain of chaos. The only reason we can't fight him is because there's a shield. But don't worry, the uh, thing we get here will let us deal with that. That increases his uh, energy output. Now his fist will do one of two things. Either do a drill attack, or it'll do a minigun attack. And that's the gimmick throughout this entire place. He's gonna chase us down. Not in every section, but in plenty of them. And this isn't the shortest place either, because it makes a zigzag everywhere. Thankfully though, I don't think there's a metal attacker here. Memory isn't quite what it used to be with this game, because I've only played it once. No! Not touching me. Alright, jump up and shoot! Haha. <laughs> you got nothing. Got nothing on my cinnamon toast crunch. It's my cereal. Not yours. And I'm not sharing. Oh, you dick. He pooped on us. Anyways, small dude dungeon. Uh oh. Wormy dudes, he's supercharged. I had to make the reference. Alrighty, we got some gun power ups and some item restoration. Alright, let's get rid of him first. Because he's an ass. No! Your Girl Scout cookies aren't delicious, so you must die. Alright, now I don't think there's a whole lot of little dude dungeons in this place. It's more about your tank than anything. Anyways, we got Map C. An interior map of the immigration ship and the planetoids nearby. Alrighty. Boom. Away we go. So what else awaits us here on the immigration ship? And how are we gonna take down that giant mutant? Find out next time on Let's Play Blaster Master Zero Two. And damn, this place is big.